Namaste. Namaste. <coughs> Today's going to be a slow stretchy class because that's how I'm failing. Um, and it is Monday. Just a reminder I will not be here on Wednesday. As of today, there's no one who said they want to sub for me, so the class may get canceled. So if you're planning on doing yoga on Wednesday, definitely look before you come. And then I will be back next week. Just a reminder today is an all levels yoga class. If there's anything that I'm teaching today that's not landing in your body, don't feel like you have to go into any particular pose or spend a 
couple of times in that pose, you know your body better than I do. So take care of yourself. You're always welcome to do something else that you know from a previous yoga experience or from earlier in class. You're going to begin with a little bit of active rest. This is from Alexander Technique. And uh, we'll start on our backs. Have your knees bent, your feet about halfway between straight out and halfway to your seat. Bring your hands to your chest, to your ribs. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, whisper it on. Continue with your breath at your own pace. Let your root cage expand as you inhale. And return as you exhale. Well, unfocus or close your eyes here if that feels safe for you. <coughs> Bring your attention to the crown of your head, all the way at the top. And down through your spine, all the way to the tip of the spine through your tailbone. Hold those two points in your mind. And as you exhale, allow them to subtly move away from each other and lengthening through your spine. And bring your attention to your right shoulder attention to your right elbow all the way at the point. And come across your body all the way to your left elbow. Once you have both points in your mind, on your exhales, allow length between the points. So, easing of your body. Broaden your chest. Bring all four of those 
those lines into your mind's eye. Length of your spine, tailbone to the top of your head. Diagonals from your right up to your right shoulder, from your right knee up to your left shoulder. And a horizontal across your chest, elbow to elbow. Allow for lengthening and broadening at the same time. Turn your attention to your left shoulder. And on an exhale, straighten your right knee, slide your right heel out and away from you. Look for length from your right heel up to your left shoulder. Inhale, bend your right knee, bring your heel in close. Exhale, straighten your left heel, find length from your left heel up through your right shoulder. Inhale, bend your left knee. In close. Continue your heel slides with your breath at your own pace, looking for diagonal length on each exhale. Finish up on your left side. Inhale, bend your left knee and bring your heel in close. And work your feet mat width apart. Exhale, bend your right knee down towards your left ankle. Inhale, and turn. Exhale, bend your left knee down towards your right ankle. Inhale, return. Continue your knee bends with your breath. rotation in your hips. Finish up on your left side. And then bring your feet up into the air, straighten your knees. Always an option to bring your hands behind your thighs. <coughs> Exhale, point your toes up towards the ceiling. Inhale, point them towards your face. Continue with your breath at your own pace. circles with your ankles, bring your toes in towards each other. Switch directions. And exhale, bend your knees, hips, and ankles to 90 degrees, so it's as if you're in a chair on your back. Exhale, tap your right heel to the ground. Inhale, and return. Exhale, tap your left heel to the ground. Inhale, return. Continue your heel taps with your breath at your own pace. Finish up a set of heel taps on your left side. Exhale, release your left foot down to the ground, cross your right ankle over your left knee. Reach your right hand between your legs, your left hand to the outside. Clasp your hands around the back of your left thigh or the front of your left shin and pull your legs in towards you. For more of a stretch in your right outer hip, press out on the inside of your 
right thigh with your right elbow. Final option, find some small circles from your left knee. And go both directions. Release your left foot down to the mat. Work your left foot to the outside of your mat, to the left side of your mat. Slide your right knee down on top of your left. And then on an exhale, release both of your legs down towards your midline, using your right leg as a weight on your left, finding a stretch in your left front. Exhale and release. Return your feet to the mat in area. Inhale, lift your left leg across your left ankle over your right knee. Reach your left hand between your legs, your right hand to the outside. Clasp your fingers around the back of your right thigh or the front of your right shin and pull your legs in towards you. More of a stretch in your left outer hip. Press out with your elbow on the inside of your left thigh. Final option is to add some circles from your right knee. Go both directions of those circles. Release your right foot down to the mat. Work your right foot to the outside, right side of your mat. Slide your left knee down, stack on top of your right. And then release your legs down towards your midline, using your left leg as a weight on your right. And find a stretch in your right front hip. Back to the mat. Inhale, lift your feet up towards the ceiling, straighten your knees. And then lift your arms also up towards the ceiling. On your next inhale, reach your right arm up past your right ear and your left leg down and out until they're both hovering above the floor. Exhale, reach up. Inhale, lift your left arm and Release your right leg down, hover, and exhale to return. Continue these motions with your breath at your own pace. Complete a set. Your left arm and right leg. Exhale and release your feet and arms down. Straighten your legs all the way out. Lift your arms up past your ears, stretching all the way towards the back of the room. On your next exhale,
exhale, sit up and touch your toes. Always an option to do this with a strap around the bottom of your feet. Exhale, release. Inhale and sit up and find your block. Put it on either of its two lowest settings, a little bit of ways from your seat. Higher setting, you'll go into a deeper back bend. We're going to come into fish. Bend your knees, bring your feet down to the mat. Begin to work your way down on your back. Bring your elbows down to the mat. If you want the block to be below your shoulder blades, open your arms out to the side, release your head back. Option, bring your feet together, and on an inhale, lift your feet until your shins are parallel and they fish. Exhale, release your feet down to the mat, straighten your knees. Inhale, work your way up, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, reach down towards your toes. Exhale, release. Inhale and sit up. Bend your knees, bring your feet to the mat. We're going to go back into fish. You're welcome to use the block assisted fish if you'd like to. If you'd like to come into something a little more active, remove the block, place it to the side, work your way back onto your elbows. Broaden your chest, look up towards the ceiling, release your head back. And then option to lift your feet. Until your knees are, your shins are parallel to the ground, or until your knees are all the way straight. A little bit more of an ab workout. Continue to broaden that chest. Exhale, release your feet down to the mat, straighten your knees. Inhale, sit up, bring your arms overhead. Exhale, reach down towards your toes. Release. Inhale and sit up. You're welcome to return to either version of fish that you just did. If you'd like to come into something even more active, we'll come into an upward facing plank. To that, bring your hands behind you, fingers pointing forwards, thumbs pointing in, feet are together. And on your next exhale, lift your hips, release your head back, point your toes down. Get really fancy, you walk with the left one foot. And if you're lifting one foot, switch with the other. Exhale, release both feet down to the floor, come down to your seats. Inhale, lift your arms. 
Exhale, reach down towards your toes. Exhale, release. <coughs> Inhale and sit up. Bring the sole of your left foot into your inner right thigh. Place your left hand behind you and to the left. Inhale, lift your right hand back past your right ear. Lift your hips, come up onto your knee. Find a stretch on your right side. Exhale, take a seat. And stretch towards your right toes. Always an option to use a strap to help you get there. your knee. Exhale, take a seat. And stretch towards your left toes. Always an option to use a block. Inhale, set up, plant your right hand behind you and to the right. On your next inhale, lift your left hand back past your ear, lift your hips, find a little back bend and a stretch on your left side. And exhale, take a seat. And stretch towards your left toes. Option to add a twist by bringing your right hand to the outside of your left foot or left ankle. Placing your left hand behind you and looking over your left shoulder towards the back of the room.
face. Inhale and sit up. Work your way into a tabletop position. Stack your hips over your knees. Your shoulders over your wrists. Spread your fingers, engage your fingertips into the mat. Exhale, arch your back like a cat. Tuck your chin, look in towards your knees. Inhale, release your belly, look forward, broaden your chest, cow. Continue cat cow with your breath at your own pace. Only five of each position. And then meet with the neutral back. If you're finding bearing weight on your hands to still be uncomfortable, you're always welcome to come up onto your knuckles. Rather than holding yourself with the palms of your hand. <coughs> Finish up your fifth cow. And then we'll meet with the neutral back. Inhale, lift your right hand forward and your left leg out and back. Exhale, touch your elbow to knee underneath you, arch your back. Inhale, lift out, reach out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach out. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, return to a tabletop position. Inhale, lift your left hand out and forward, your right leg back and out. Exhale, touch your elbow to knee underneath you, arch your back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, and release. Spread your knees mat width apart, bring your big toes together. Exhale, send your hips back to your heels. Release your forehead down towards the floor. And bring your hands out in front of your child's pose. Exhale, return to a tabletop position. Readjust your hands and knees. Inhale, turn your toes over, send your hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Release your ears between your arms. Walk your dog. Inhale, between your hands. Exhale, walk to your hands. Inhale, lift up halfway, bring your hands to your shins, work your feet mat with the heart, put your toes away from each other. Exhale, come down into a yoga squat, with your hands together in prayer between your knees. Always an option to use a block as a seat here in this position. Shine your heart forward, broaden your chest. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Inhale. Lift your hips, return your feet to half hip width apart. Exhale, release the arms for forward fold. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into a plank, and then into a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Turn your left heel down and your left foot out 45 degrees. Inhale, rise up. Lift your arms up towards the ceiling. Warrior one. Make sure your hips are staying forwards towards the front of the room. Exhale, frame your 
front foot with your hands. Turn your left heel up, plant your hands. Inhale, lift your right leg back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant your right foot next to your left. Come forward into a plank, option to come to your knees as we come down to a chaturanga. Keep your elbows in close. Inhale, send your heart forward, lift your shoulders, cobra. Then work your hands forward until you're on your forearms. Sphinx. If you'd like to take this back then a little bit further, you're welcome to straighten your elbows. Come up a little higher. Exhale. Bring your elbow, your hands back underneath your shoulders. Inhale, turn your toes over, send your hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Take a step in with your feet. And then walk your dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Three legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Turn your right heel down and right foot out about 45 degrees. Inhale, rise up all the way. Warrior one. Exhale, frame your front foot with your hands, turn your right heel up. Inhale, lift your left leg back up, three-legged dog. Exhale, plant your left foot next to your right, come forward into a plank option to come to your knees as we come down through Chaturanga. Inhale, send your heart forward, Cobra. Or option to straighten your elbows, come to the tops of your toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, turn your heels over, send your hips back and up, downward facing dog. Walk your dog. <coughs> On an exhale, begin to walk your hands back to your feet. Exhale, your hand, come forward, fold. Exhale, bend your knees. Inhale, rise up all the way. Exhale, release your hands to heart center. Take a moment to find your balance between your feet. Make sure you're centering your weight over the arches of your feet. You should find equal weight behind your big toes, behind your little toes, and in your heels. Unlock your knees and hips, and then shift your weight over onto your right foot. Strengthen through your right leg and core. Inhale, lift your left foot into tree. Kickstand, inner thigh, or inner calf. Avoid placing your foot on your knee joint. Bring your hands either into prayer, or reach them up towards the ceiling. Find a point in the room that's not moving. You get to rest on that point. Exhale and release. Take a moment to walk it out. Shift your weight over the arches of your feet, shift your weight over your left foot, strengthen through your left leg and core. Inhale, lift your right foot, kick stand in your calf. Pull up your knee joint onto your inner thigh. Bring your hands into prayer. Or reach them up towards the ceiling. So the length through your heel all the way up to the crown of your head. Under the top of your mat. You may want a 
block for this next one. I'm going to go ahead and take care of it. If you're using the block, place it in front of you on its highest setting. <coughs> Next, inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, step your right foot back. Keep your knees straight, your toes parallel, and your hips facing the front of the room. Exhale, reach your arms down and forward. Come all the way down to the mat, or bring your hands to a block. Looking for a stretch in your left hamstring and your right calf. If you'd like to add a twist to this, place your right hand on the mat or the block. Inhale, lift your left hand up towards the ceiling. Bring your gaze to follow your left hand. Exhale, release your left hand back down to the mat. Inhale, step your right foot next to your left. Bring your arms out and up. Exhale, step your left foot back. Keep your knees straight. Toes remain parallel. Hips stay towards the front of the room. Exhale, reach down and forward. Bring your hands to the mat or to a block. Looking for a stretch in your left calf and right hamstring. If you'd like to add a twist to this, place your left hand on the mat or a block. Inhale, lift your right hand, bring your gaze and follow your right hand. Exhale, release your right hand down. If you're using the block, set your block aside. Inhale, step your left foot next to your right, bend your knees, and then rise up all the way. Exhale, release your hands to heart center. Dasana. Come back to the top of your mat and place your block in front of you again. And do some half moon. Bring your toes and knees together. You're going to have your hips, your heels a little bit spread. Inhale, lift your arms up. Exhale, send your hips back, knees forward, come down into a chair. Exhale, release your hands together into prayer. Inhale, turn to your right, bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Left elbow outside of right knee. And then open your hands. On an exhale, cartwheel your hands down, find your block with your right hand. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling and lift your left leg back and out. And open your hip half moon. Exhale, release your left foot down and come into a forward fold. together one more time. Bend your knees. Inhale. Rise up into a chair. Exhale. Release your hands together into prayer. And then turn to your left. Bring your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Look up towards the ceiling and open your hands. On an exhale. Pull your arms down, find your block with your left hand, lift your right hand up towards the ceiling, and then lift your right leg up and out. Half moon. Exhale, release your right foot next to your left, and come back to a forward fold. Inhale, bring your hands to your shin, fork your feet, mat them apart, point your toes away from each other. Exhale, come down into a yoga squat. Bring your hands together and prayer between your knees. 
Release your hips down. Lift your chest up and forward. Exhale, release your hands to the mat. Inhale, straighten your knees, lift your hips. Work your feet back to hip width apart. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into a plank. And then release your knees down to a tabletop position. Bring your knees together, your ankles together, flatten your ankles down to the mat. Send your hips back to your heels and sit up. If this is intense, you can always use a block between your feet or stay a little bit forward. Inhale, open your arms out wide. Exhale, cross your elbows to in front of you. Give yourself a big hug or twist your forearms into eagle arms. More of a stretch in your shoulders to lift your elbows toward your nose. Exhale and release. Inhale, open your arms out wide. Cross your elbows in front of you. The other way, give yourself a big hug. Or cross your, twist your forearms into eagle arms. Bring the soles of your feet together in front of you. Scooch your heels in close. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, round down and forward. Release your forehead down towards your knees. Use your elbows to press out and down on your inner thighs. The more of a stretch across your groin. Accessible to you up by your shoulders. Then, 
work your way down onto your back. We'll use this a little bit. Straight your left leg and your right knee and bring your heel in close. Inhale, press through your right heel, lift your hips, turn your hips to face the left. Exhale, bring your left right knee down and across to the left. Use your left hand to help you get there. Reach your right hand out to the right and turn your head to look at your right hand. A big twist in your spine, your tailbone up through your neck. It's more important to keep your right shoulder on the mat. Bring that right knee far across. Exhale and release. Switch your feet straight in your right knee, but if you're left, inhale, press through your left heel and hip, lift your hips, turn them to face your right. Exhale, bring your left knee down and across. Use your right hand to help. Reach your left hand out to the left and turn your head to look at your left hand. Put twists in your spine from your tailbone through your neck. Important to keep your left shoulder down on the mat and then bring your left knee very far across the down. Release your feet down to the mat. Inhale, lift your hips from the block. Exhale, take your hips down to the mat. Inhale, bring your knees in towards your chest. Find some circles from your knees to massage your lower back. Go in both directions. Then begin to work your way down into Shavasana. Straighten your knees, pull out your toes to point out away from each other. Just add the palms of your hands up towards the ceiling and tuck your shoulder blades together down the center of your back. Allow your shoulders to widen. Close your and focus your eyes if that feels safe for you. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, sigh. Release tension on your exhales, especially in your face. Widen the circles around your eyes. Release your jaw. 
shot at the time. Soften your throat. Allow your shoulders to broaden and melt down towards the mat. back to the room. Begin to work your way to a seated position. Take your time. Thank you. 